Hey, good morning. Welcome back. We're in the Gospel of Luke today, chapter 5, and we're going to finish out the chapter, verses 36 to 39. Let us read. Then he spoke a parable to them. No one puts a piece from a new garment on an old one. Otherwise, the new makes a tear, and also the piece that was taken out of the new does not match the old. And no one puts new wine into old wine skins, or else the new wine will burst the wine skins and be spilled, and the wine skins will be ruined. But new wine must be put into new wine skins, and both are preserved. And no one, having drunk old wine, immediately desires new, for he says the old is better. There's a recognition here we are creatures of habit. People like the old wine, and they think it's it's better, and they don't even want to try the new wine. You've seen a kid, a kid at the table, and there's a piece of food that he's never, a kind of food he's never had before, and there's an opportunity to taste something and try something new, but the kid just wants the thing he knows, and he just wants, well, some kids are different, but a lot of kids will just eat the things they already know. So here is a warning for us. We can get sort of entrenched in something and we begin to, uh, to become narrow and confined and we begin that we cannot think outside the box. It's only what there's only things are only to be done one way inside this one little box. And Jesus says, you know what? We need new wine sometimes. We need new wine skins and we need to think differently. And of course, Jesus was there to peel away the, all the traditions and the mush and the junk and the mold that had accumulated not, not at random, but the devils have been working to accumulate traditions covering up the Word of God. And so Jesus was there to uncover and show it again. And when, it was, when he was done uncovering it, it always looked like something brand new and so brand new that some people were uh, driven, just angry. They were angry because this is disrupting my, all my understanding of the traditions. Why would we do something new? Friend, if we're a Christian, we need to be open to do something new. God many times has things to uncover and show us, things that we haven't been clear on, we haven't been right on. And now the situation maybe in the culture around us has also changed very dramatically. How can we be good disciples and good, good apostles unless we are open to receive new wine and open to be, be new wineskins? So friend, the Bible's our measure. We don't want to ever leave the Bible, but if we look to God's word, God will be our leader and we can have fresh thinking in fresh places where we need it. Let's pray. Dear Father in heaven, again, uh, we are warned by Jesus not to trust too much in our understanding, in long-standing practices. Sometimes those have gone way off the track. Lord, help us always to go back, back to Jesus, and get correction and help from Jesus. Now, Lord, this is our prayer today. In Jesus' name we ask. Amen. Friend, may you and I be available to Jesus for any correction, any modification, anything new that our Lord wants to do. He is our Lord, and whatever he has, my answer and your answer really must be yes. God bless you today.